fact, I read a New York Times piece on a 100-year-old survivor of the Tulsa massacre. And my question was this. What's the Tulsa massacre? You know, I, 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 uh, as a, I was taught American history every three years growing up. Fifth grade, eighth grade, uh, what comes after, <laughs> eleventh grade. And then I studied in junior college, and I've read it ever since for pleasure. How is it that it wasn't until two years ago that I heard about the Tulsa massacre? How is that possible? I've heard about Custer's uh, uh, Little Bighorn. I heard about the Alamo. Uh, you know, I heard about the uh, Triangle Shirtwaist fire. You know, I heard about all kinds of disasters in which people died. But I had never heard about this thing that happened in 1921, only three years before my dad was born. One of the most successful black communities in America, Black Wall Street, in which everybody was not only burned out of their homes and their businesses, but then driven out of the city limits by an angry mob of, I'm sorry, white people. How is it that this was not taught to me? Because I tell you, at the age of 10, when I was in fifth grade, living in Oakland, California, that would have been a moment of enlightenment for me. And it made me mad. It made me mad that somebody had somehow made an editorial process of what was appropriate for us to learn about our own American history. It made me angry. And uh, it, took, it took me 64, it took me 54 years in order to find this out. It's not right. It's not right and it's doing a disservice to all of America. But we also know, because one of the narratives people say is, oh well, you know, black people just go out and pull themselves up from their own bootstraps. Stop asking for handouts. Well, People in Tulsa, they did that with Black Wall Street. Black Wall Street was a thriving town, not just a black town, but just a town, one of the wealthiest places. And of course, we know that almost in an instant, 300 people were killed, 35 blocks destroyed, all of those businesses, banks, homes destroyed. People fled and their land was taken over. And it's not just Tulsa. There are other Black Wall Streets as well. East St. Louis, well, up to 200 were killed, 6,000 ended up being homeless, 300 businesses destroyed. We could go to Rosewood, Florida, 150 deaths. As you can see, that was in the paper, whites gathered for miles to slay Negroes. Last Negro homes raised in Rosewood, literally just wiping them out. And then, of course, we can even go to Detroit, 34 killed, including 16 police officers, $28 million in damage, where... Uh, white people did not want black people to move in. So we see no matter what we're talking about, whenever black people have created these spaces, we continue to see how it plays out. And of course, there are other cities, even more recently, that we could highlight that have had, in many ways, race riots, particularly after the assassination uh, or around the assassination of King. And also we can think about the Kennedys from Rochester, New York to Watts, California, Chicago, Cleveland. I mentioned Detroit, Newark, 